To set the header float and wing balance, follow the information contained in the FD2 quick card. The instruction values listed are general starting points and may need to be amended to suit individual field conditions. Park the combine on a level surface and ensure the combine feeder house is level. Use the bubble level on top of the float module. Adjust the header so the cutter bar is 250 millimeters off the ground. Set the tilt cylinder to D on the indicator. Set the reel fore aft to 6 on the reel arm fore aft indicator. Lower the reel completely, shut down the combine, and remove the key from the combine ignition. Remove the linkage cover. Place both left and right wing lock spring handles in the locked upper position. You should hear the lock engage. If not, move the wings up and down so the lock engages. Place both the left and right header float locks in the unlocked lowered position. Set the stabilizer or contour max wheels if equipped to the uppermost position. All accessories must be installed before checking and setting the float. If additional accessories are installed or removed, the float should be rechecked and adjusted if necessary. Locate and remove the set it right multi-tool from the left end shield. Place the multi-tool on the float setting lever. The tool should be slightly angled towards the front of the header. Pull down on the tool towards the back of the header until the lever is over center and will not return to its original position. Remove the tool and repeat on the opposite side. It's important that the float setting levers on both sides are engaged while adjusting float. On the side that you are adjusting, move the header up and down by hand to reduce the effect of friction. Check the numbers in small print on the float setting indicator for the current float value. The pointer arm on the float setting indicator should be on number two. If the reading on the float setting indicator is lower than two, the header is light. If the reading on the float setting indicator is higher than two, the header is heavy. It should be noted, the numbers in large print are for the auto header height indicator and used when operating the header in the field. If adjustment to the float setting is required, loosen the bolts and rotate the spring locks to allow access to the bolt heads. To decrease header weight, turn both adjustment bolts clockwise. This will decrease the number on the float setting indicator. To increase header weight, turn both the adjustment bolts counterclockwise. This will increase the number on the float setting indicator. Ensure the float setting indicator readings are equal on both sides of the float module. Lift the end of the header by hand after adjusting and recheck the reading. Once float setting is complete, use the combine and lower the header fully to the ground. This will disengage the float setting mechanism. After the float setting mechanisms have disengaged, lift the header off the ground approximately 250 millimeters and proceed to wing balance adjustments. If adequate header float cannot be achieved using all the available adjustments, an optional heavy-duty spring is available. See your MacDon dealer or refer to the parts catalog for ordering information. Before proceeding, the header float must be set properly. Attach the flex checker cable to the flex checker cable lock. Move the wing lock spring handle to the lower unlock position. You should hear the lock disengage. If not, use the multi-tool to rotate the mechanism so the lock disengages. Be sure to keep the opposite wing locked. On the flex checker plate, pinch the indicators together with your fingers. Use the multi-tool to rotate the flex checker plate up until the pin reaches the end of the slot. The lower indicator will move down to give the first reading. Use the multi-tool to rotate the flex checker plate down until the pin reaches the end of the slot. The upper indicator will move up to give the second reading. Remember, you must rotate the flex checker plate up and down twice to get an accurate reading. Refer to the decal and compare the two readings as follows. Condition A, the wing is too light, make the wing heavier. Condition B, the wing is too heavy, make the wing lighter. Condition C, the wing balance is correctly adjusted. Repeat this procedure on the opposite wing. Adjust if necessary. If the wing is too light, make it heavier by turning the adjuster bolt to move the clevis in the inboard direction. 
If the wing is too heavy, make it lighter by turning the adjuster bolt to move the clevis in the outboard direction. Recheck the wing balance after making adjustments. Adjust as required until the wing is balanced. Remember, you must rotate the flex checker plate twice after pinching the indicators to ensure the correct reading. Move the spring handle to the upper lock position. If the lock does not engage, move the wing up and down with the multi-tool until it locks. Detach the flex checker cables from the flex checker locks. Failure to disconnect the cable may cause cable breakage. Return the multi-tool to its storage position and secure. Reinstall the linkage covers.